that evil fornication, if the enemy can't catch you to fornicate in the physical, and he sees that you're so close to the Lord, he cannot attack you in the physical realm, they will come for you in the spiritual realm. Your dream state is your the spiritual, you're in the spiritual realm, okay? So one thing, let me tell you about two things you should never do when you're in a vision. One is have sex. That is the spirit of fornication trying to make a covenant with you. And a lot of our people make covenants unconsciously in the dream state by having sex with spirits. They'll come to you cloaked as one of, you know, your exes or even your spouse. And you be, you're not supposed to be having sex in the spirit realm. That You're not having sex with your spouse. You're having sex with a demon, an evil spirit who's trying to come in and attack you from the spiritual realm. So whatever they did to you in that vision, it's going to manifest in the, spir in, in, in the natural realm. So whatever they did there in the spiritual realm, in your dream state, spiritual realm, when you wake up that has and you had sex, you better get up, get on your knees, and cancel and reject it. You gotta, when you get dreams like that, you need to get up and fast and reject it instantly because the enemy has used an attack on you from the spiritual realm. And it's just a matter of time before it manifests in the the natural realm. So what you need to do is you have to, you need to pray. As soon as you get a vision like those, you get up, you pray and you cancel it. You reject it. And you, you know, that's what you do. So now another one, fornication. They try to have sex with you in your dreams. Yes. Oh, I said that. Let me talk about eating. Eating is another thing you should not be doing in a dream. You're eating witchcraft food. You're eating the are you eating um, foods from devils? Foods from spirits? You get what I'm saying to you? Yes. When the enemy, the enemy will come disguised as, you know, your family members, your friends, even your spouse, and you guys are somewhere and you're eating, you should not be eating in your spirit state at all. You get me? That's an attack from the enemy. And I pray that you guys, before you go to your bed, you ask for your... And also, the enemy sends visions too. The enemy sends visions too. So you need to pray and ask the Lord to protect your visions from corruption, from invasion, and from infiltration of the enemy. And for you to have closed visions and that they only come from him and block all the attacks of the enemy. Because that is, oh, when you're wise out here and the natural realm, the enemy, an enemy tries to throw you off in the spiritual realm because our people are not that knowledgeable on spiritual laws and how the spiritual world works. So the enemy has an advantage. Yes, the enemy has an advantage to a sense of your ignorance and your lack of knowledge. But that's why it's, you need to get informed. You need to start reading. You need to start digging. You need to do diligent search because... That's why it says the children of darkness are more smart than the children of light. Because they understand spiritual laws. They use every single loophole to attack you. And my sisters, let me tell you something. How the enemy attacks you. Big time. You see all that weave? Legal right. Sin on your head. You see those nails? Legal right. Made in hell. Weave is made in hell. Nails are made in hell. All those things are made in hell. You okay? You understand what I'm saying to you? They were made in hell. So if you're still wearing weave on your head top and fake nails on your hand, know that you're not coming into the kingdom. All right? You're not. You still wearing weave on your head, fake nails and nail polish. And I'll tell you another thing. The enemy uses nail polish to afflict, your, to afflict women as well. I know it sounds so simple. Like, oh my gosh, this is a sly one. You see the devil? They have plans every night. They're hide, it says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. That is talking about the spiritual realm. They, which in hours is from 12 of the clock to 3 o'clock, making plans all day on how to overthrow you. You understand? So, not only every single tool you use, they try to overthrow you. It. Listen, let me tell you about gateways. All right? Your eyes are a gateway. The things you fix your eyes on. Your ears are a gateway. The things you listen to. Your mouth 
is a gateway. And and your your private parts is a gateway, but that's not where the that's where evil spirits come when you fornicate. You understand? So your eyes, the things you fix your eyes on, yes. That's why it says take away from me the lust of 